All right, so somebody is asking the question here. Uh, they're going to, uh, you know, they're going to college and they're, it's not working. And, uh, you know, I've heard the story a thousand times. They, they feel like they're not going to enter the job force in any good way. And even if they're going to computer science and, and uh, they don't know what to do and they want to take the matters into their own hands. So, first of all, I applaud you for doing that. So, there's a lot of people that are, being failed by education across the world and mostly because the people that are writing the curriculum are completely disconnected from the job force and the jobs that are needed in the world and and they really don't care about you and I, I hate to put it that way but they don't they care about your money they care about the fact that you're enrolled with them and there might be individual teachers who care about you but as an institution the educational organizations of our world do not care about you they, they make a lot of fluff about it and everything, but when it comes down to it, they're capitalist, money-based organizations, money of whom have people in them that are guaranteed to stay there the rest of their lives, and they don't care. They're not, they're not, they're not being put to the test in terms of um, helping you. So that means you have to take matters into your own hands, and we've talked about this a lot before. Uh, so the first thing I would have you do is actually go back. There's a, there's a video, day zero of the boost and day one of the boost. Those days were going to change. Uh, the boost no longer has any association with dates as of two days ago. So it's going to be outline based content that'll be frequently updated over the years. But, um, go back and watch that. It talks about, you know, getting motivated to take control of your own learning and everything. So hopefully that addresses the question about being a CS student from university that's getting a lot of bad education and going into debt, which is just sad. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you guys. Um, and so, so the second question is, well, how do I get started? If I'm going to take control of my own learning, what do I do? And um, even before you decide, you know, whether you're going to learn Linux or programming, there's says something else. The first thing you need to learn, and we've talked about this a lot, is you need to learn how to research and how to answer your own questions and how to become an autodidact. And I'm not going to go into that today. But there is, a, again, day zero and day one of the 2021 boosts covers that material. You can go back and watch that. Um, if you don't know how to answer your own questions and do your own research, um, unfortunately, which even college doesn't teach you, it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're, you're stuck. You're just going to have to figure that out. And you can see, this is a particular question. This question, whether I should start with Linux or programming, that's a question you should be able to answer on your own, Right. So ultimately, you're going to be able to figure out how to answer these own questions. You'll be able to co make confident decisions about your future. But you're not able to do that right now because you've been told over and over again to just do it, I tell you, and get the assignment out of time. And you're not encouraged to be a critical thinker or to do your own research or to take control of your own learning. Because if you take control, then they won't get any money. And so the first thing you need to learn is how to take control of your own learning and do your own research and gain confidence. And I can't tell you how to do that in 10 minutes uh, but we have talked about a lot on this channel. Um, but just know that that's what you need to focus on above everything else is giving yourself the ability to take notes, to write down and, you know, your progress to read about things, to do your research, to write and process what you're reading or writing, and then to explore and execute and experiment R W X. And as you do those kind of things, you won't need any institution at all. You'll be able to take control of your learning and your, your career and your family and your future. And you won't have to answer to anybody else other than you, the system that you have to plan depending on where you live. So having said all that rant, the next thing you need to do is learn Linux. And the, I'm going to, I'm going to break this down really simply as a, I'm going to give you the whole boost in like five minutes. Okay. As in terms of what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is you need to get Docker desktop installed on your computer. Okay. Number one, get Docker desktop installed. Containers are the future of everything. And, and you can do that research on your own. Uh, if you don't believe me, I'm making a conclusion here. I like to give you the backup for that, but do the research and you'll see that's true. So Docker desktop is the most important single application you will come to understand to working IT today. It's not JavaScript, it's not Rust, it's not Go, it's Docker desktop. It's learning how to deal with containers. Uh, the sec second and most important thing after that is Linux command line terminal. And that includes learning how to script and bash and shell. Shell is, is bash. That's the second most important thing you will ever learn. Don't let anybody in web 
or or some C class or some Java computer science class tell you differently. The single most important skill you will learn other than and how to do Docker desktop containers is how to use the bash terminal command line. Don't use Z shell, use bash. It's bash terminal Linux command line. It's the default. It's everywhere. People are being paid thousands of dollars. You can use it on all the certification exams if you want to certify. All of the other shells, none of that is true. So learn the bash shell command line. So number one, learn Docker desktop. Know what that means. Know how to download it and run it. Number two, know how to run uh, Linux shelled. And the way you can do that is use Docker desktop. And then after that, after you've done that, you need to learn everything else about the terminal. So you need to learn to be able to do research really quickly. You need to be able to manage your knowledge and take care of your source code with the things that you write. So that so that would be you you need to be able to we talked already talked about coding in Bash. Then you need to learn how to edit in VI, of course, that's included. Then you need to know how to use Tmux to manage your window manager. You don't don't bother with i3 or distros. Don't even install Linux. Okay? Just learn the terminal learn how to manage your terminal using tmux okay use the tmux vi and then on top of that learn how to search from the terminal nobody on planet earth is going to tell you this it's really unfortunate but you can become as efficient as more efficient than anybody on planet earth by just doing this uh why should i learn linux terminal see the search i'm doing from the command line do you see how do you see how fast i just came up with those results how long did that take half a second. I didn't even have to open a graphic browser. You need to learn to do that so that you can learn and research faster than everybody else with no graphics and no JavaScript, just get in the way, highly secure. And that's what you need to do. So those are all part of the terminal, the Linux terminal. So there's really only three things to remember, right? The first thing is Docker desktop, learning how to use Docker. Number two, the bash Linux terminal, right? And everything that me includes, and that includes VI, that includes Tmux, that includes Lynx or W3M, whichever one you want. You, you know, learn to use that. And, and after that, you probably want to learn to code in another language. So, But before you do that, you need to learn how to save your notes and stuff. So you need to learn Markdown, you need to learn Git uh, and GitHub and, and be able to write for that. Uh, you actually don't need to learn web tech, you can just learn to use those things at first, but eventually you will need to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript just minimally. I mean, there's people who've lived their work amazing two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar careers and never once made a web page, ever, because you don't need to. Now, the world's going to tell you much differently. They're going to tell you that you need to do that. So, and, and after that, you should start learning how to program. And I suggest the first programming language you learn is Go, because Go is the, the all the important software of the world today has been written in Go. Uh, Kubernetes, Docker itself, um, everything that's related to that whole craziness in the world has been, has been written in Go. So that that's guaranteed to get you a $100,000 job as a junior engineer, even if you learn it good enough. So that's the path. And make sure you learn the Unix philosophy along the way. All of that stuff is covered in the boost that I do uh, on YouTube for free, uh, but you don't have to learn it that way. You can learn it however way you want to do. So learn how to learn and take notes, you know, learn Docker containers, learn how to use the Linux terminal, specifically the default Linux terminal on Ubuntu, which is, you know, how to install software and stuff like that. And, and then learn uh, how to do research from the command line using Lynx or W3, learn Tmux and VI, learn how to program in Go, learn how to program in Python after that if you want. Learn how to program in C if you want to have something that's um, more to your more to help you understand how computers work, and then after that, build whatever you want on top of that. And there's lots of things you can go through there. You can build every other career you want to on top of that. But all of those other careers, they keep kidding themselves and thinking they don't need to learn the terminal, and they're always kidding themselves. Then inevitably, they always have to come back and learn it, and they always regret that they didn't. So don't be them. Learn those basics. Uh, MIT calls it the lost semester, and then go from there. Hey, thanks. Hi, Billy. Uh, screen is greater than Tmux? Nah. Yeah, good troll attempt there, but no. Screen is on everything, but you can actually make Tmux act just like screen. Uh, even I need to learn Docker, and I haven't I have procrastinated a lot. Uh, all right.